Hello and welcome back everybody to another World of Warcraft gold farming video. So in this video we're going to be farming a pet called the Spawn of Gnathus. Now this pet sells for approximately 1000 gold on most servers, however on high population servers they will sell for a bit less, but again you will have an easier time of selling this, and this goes vice versa but the opposite for lower population servers. So before you do anything I do want to recommend uh, that you do check your auction house prices before doing this to see if it's worth doing for you. Uh, you can either just go to your auction house and just type in Spawn of Gnathus, or you can use the Undermine Journal website, or you can get the add-on, which I do recommend doing. And I'll leave a link in the description for those. But uh, other than that, this is going to be another RNG-based farm, so uh, I do want you to bear in mind that you might not get any within the first few minutes, or you might get loads. However, I don't think it's too bad with this farm, as the drop rate is about 70 to 80%. They usually drop in most of the cases, I guess 80% of the, case, the cases you will get the, the mob dropping of this guy. So it's not too bad, but similarly to transmog farms, uh, don't put 10 of these on your auction house and expect them to sell right away. They will take a few days to sell, so just bear that in mind, you will have to have patience. So where are we going to be farming this? We're going to be farming this in Pandaria, in the Talong Steps, along this island here. The root of this farm, he spawns right here. As you can see, he came across here and then he just turned around and he's going this way now. And he will just uh, swim across here and then he'll stop around here and then he'll swim back and you'll keep repeating that all again and again. So what I don't recommend doing is just flying around the, uh, the island to search for him. What I do recommend doing is just flying around the north side as he only goes around the north side. Uh, other than that, this is a boss level mob. He probably is around level 95 to 96, so I do recommend being at least level 100 uh, to do this, as he does hit quite hard. However, you can avoid some of his abilities. He does have a lightning breath ability, which you can easily avoid. He just basically move out of his way. Um, I am about 691 eye level and I am protection spec, so I have a very easy time of doing this. It does take me a few minutes to kill him, but it, it's not that bad. Uh, if you are a pure DPS spec and if you don't have a lot of survivability, like a mage or something, or a warlock, uh, I do recommend having a bit higher, eye level, a higher item level, like uh, let's say 660 item level plus it would be a good range, but you shouldn't have too much problems with this. Um, other than that, Competition wise, I didn't see anyone here. Since this is not a current content zone, uh, no one really comes here unless they're going to farm the spawn of Gnathus. And uh, basically, not a lot of people spawn this for some re uh, farm this for some reason. So it does still sell very qu quite well on most servers. Other than that, uh, it does it has a 50 minute respawn timer, so I don't recommend just waiting here for 50 minutes and then just killing me again. Uh, that's not worth doing. What I do recommend doing is getting the cross realm assist add on. And what it basically does is allows you uh, is an easy way to reset your server. So you just press quick join, and he will disappear, and he will reappear somewhere along this path. Uh, I'm sure you get what I'm sure you know what it means uh, does by now, but I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. So there he is again. So let's get into the gold breakdown. So I was able to farm about five pets every ten minutes. Convert that to hour; it's about thirty pets an hour. Now, hypothetically, that's about thirty thousand gold an hour. But of course, realistically, you won't be able to sell uh, thirty of these pets every hour. That's just unrealistic. There's not enough buyers uh, to go around to sell all of these pets. Uh, what I do recommend doing is coming here once or twice a week, farming five or ten of these, putting one or two on the auction house, and waiting for those to sell for forty-eight hours. If they don't sell, oh well, just put them up again. If they do sell, great, you have your gold. And just put the the rest up i don't recommend putting 10 of these up at the same time or 20 or 30 or even more as that will just flood the auction house and people will just undercut you uh, and just make the prices go down and down on your server which is not what you want and that's very counterproductive other than that guys i guess this farm is very good i like this farm since it's just a change up of pace and um it's very easy to do. You can just come here, just kill him once, and he will probably drop the item as it's an 80% drop chance or whatever. And you can just put up put it up on the auction house and it's in quick 1,000 to 2,000 gold if you really need the gold. Um, but it will take you at least a day to sell this. Uh, other than that, um, you can just use a pet for yourself as I done. Or you can just, uh, you can level up the pet as well and put them up on your auction house that way. And uh, you might make a little bit of more gold. Or you can increase the rarity using the battle stones, but I don't really know how that works. But uh, other than that, you can just give it to your friends or whatever, just for the loads. Um, so I guess that's a plus. But I guess that's the end of this video, guys. Like and preview if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more gold guys like this for me in the future. Until next time, guys. Bye.